Got some NBA news coming in. I think it's pretty big. Daryl Morey, five years on the 76ers. I thought the 76ers were done, honestly. I'm watching them get swept first round. I thought they were just, they missed their chance. They signed Tobias Harris instead of Jimmy Butler. They made all types of mistakes in building around Ben Simmons and Benny Sims and Joel Embiid. But I think this offseason, they might be back in business. I didn't even think Daryl Morey would get back in the NBA. I thought after he said, free those people in China, they were like, nah, we can't be talking trash about China. They give us too much money. So I thought the NBA would just get him out. But really, they just got him out of the team that uh, has the most connection to China with Yao Ming being there originally and then Jeremy Lin going there. People from China love the Rockets. So they just got him out of there. And now they got him on a team where he's going to make a positive impact. He's a great GM. Even before he got James Harden on the Rockets, they were they were competitive. They had good role players. They had Kyle Lowry back in the day, Shane Battier they had over there. They had Luis Scola. They had just good role players even before they could bring good stars. And his philosophy is always, I want as many stars as possible. And once he was able to get James Harden and one of the biggest thieves of a trade of all time, they were... They were uh, I don't know how to put this. Obviously, we're in a dynasty. They didn't get a championship, but they had a run of just great success, as best as you could do without getting to the finals. A lot of conference finals, a lot of wins. Built well around James Harden, Chris Paul. Chris Paul and whoever they had each year. Dave Dwight Howard one year, a couple years. They just had good pieces around them. And, you know, you could argue about the system, you know, whether running through James Harden all that much, you know, it was ever going to work. But they had good pieces. P.J. Tucker, he's Trevor Reza back in the day. He's good at identifying role, pieces, role players to put around the star players. And I think that's what they're going to need in, in Philadelphia. They got Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons. But their problem has been, along with the fact that, that they're, not, they're not the easiest fit, they don't fit perfectly, the problem has mostly been, you could, well, there's been a lot of problems. There's also been the coaching problem, which they got rid of, Brett Brown. You know, I don't want to say put too much on him because it's you know, it's not all about the coach but I don't think he was a great coach and the biggest problem most likely was they had no continuity around them they just had different role players every year different guys around them brought Josh Richardson this year they've had JJ Redick last year they had Trey Burke for a few games when he was looking like Allen Iverson with the braids in Philadelphia and he was doing good and then they got rid of him Raul Neto they just brought random guys after random guys every year just switching up and I'm thinking Daryl Morey's going to come in. They got a good coach now, Doc Rivers. I think he probably should have been fired by the Clippers because he underachieved some. But he's still a good coach, and I think he's a good fit to get Joel B playing up to his abilities. And hopefully he can get Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid working well together. But I think Daryl Morey's going to play his part in terms of getting finding some good role players like a P.J. Tucker or Trevor Reza when he was in his prime. You know, Get guys like that, 3 and D. Play two ways, hit the threes, space the floor around them, and get let those guys go to work. And I think it's going. I think it's going to be successful. If you're a Sixers fan, you gotta love it. You know his. I don't. And you know people thinking. You know, talk, there's been a lot of talk about trading Ben Simmons or do you trade Joel Embiid, but knowing Daryl Morey and his philosophy, I don't think he's going to trade either. I think his philosophy has always been get as many star players as you can. That's why. Didn't matter who it was, he'd bring Dwight Howard, he'd bring Chris Paul, he'd bring Russell Westbrook. He just wanted as many as the top level guys as he could get. And Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid are top level guys. And if you trade them, most likely you're not going to get a better player in return. You're most likely going to get young players and pieces like that, which I don't think he's going to go for. I think he'd only trade them if he could get a star and some young pieces. But like a real bona fide star, he would trade one of them for. So I think it's a good phase. Probably most likely going to keep them together. I'm interested to see what he does with Tobias Harris because it's really an untradeable contract. It was a horrible decision to extend him and not fight to keep Jimmy Butler. But we'll see if he can find a way to trade and get anything in return or if he's just going to hope that they get those three playing well together, that Tobias Harris develops something other than the ability to score at a decent rate because he doesn't defend well. He's a bad decision maker. He can rebound a little bit. And that's all he gives you. And next to two guys that play on the inside it doesn't really his game isn't really a nice fit either you know hopefully for them Josh Richardson has a bit better year next year 
when he was on the Heat, he was looking really good, and then he was just very disappointing this year. We'll see if he wants to move him. But I, if you're a Sixers fan, you got to feel like they're back. I was feeling like it was over for them, the way they just got swept, the way that it looks like Joel Embiid has just been upset. They don't have any good pieces around those two right now. I have faith in Daryl Morey to build it up and get him a nice squad around this year, and they're going to be tough. As a Bucks fan, they're going to be a little scary again. It's going to be interesting to see. I'm excited. It's a good move for them. Let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Daryl Morey going there. You think that's going to make a big impact? Let me know. Drop a comment.